Hello, this tutorial will show you how to use the MVN LiveLink plugin for Unreal Engine 5. This plugin can be downloaded for free from the Epic Games Marketplace by searching for MVN LiveLink. Then, install the plugin to the engine. In your Unreal project, enable the plugin by going to Edit, Plugins, and under the Installed section, search for LiveLink MVN plugin. Enable it and restart the software. To live stream data from MVN, we will need to add a network streamer. For this tutorial, I'll be live streaming a pre-recorded file, but the workflow is the same for a live session. Open the network streamer settings by clicking this icon. Click Add to create a stream. The host should be the IP address of the computer that is running Unreal. If it is running on the same computer as MVN, this can be left at the default local host address. Take note of the port number as we'll be using it later. For Unreal, we'll leave Quaternion selected. If you are also streaming finger or object data, enable the respective options here. Finally, enable the stream by checking this box. Settings are saved and applied automatically, so we can close this window. We're done with MVN and can move on to Unreal. To add an XSense live source, go to Window, Virtual Production, Live Link. Click Add Source and XSense Live Source. Make sure that the port number matches what was set in MVN and click OK. MVN will appear here as a source, and your subjects will appear here based on the name of your avatars in MVN. The data is successfully streaming if this circle is green. If you want to add a delay to your stream, you can do so by clicking on MVN Live under Source Type, increasing the max number of buffered frames, and then adding a time offset. For this tutorial, I'll be using the default mannequin, but the workflow is the same for any character. If the character is not in a T-pose by default, we will need to create a T-pose animation asset. Open the character skeleton asset and go to Create Asset and Create Animation from Current Pose. I'll name this something like Mannequin T-Pose and save it to the content folder so I can find it easier. Then click OK. With the asset now open, pause the animation and go to frame zero. To draw the bones on top of the mesh, go to Character, Bones, and choose All Hierarchy. I can now begin editing the skeleton into a T-Pose. Starting with the upper arm, the bone should be as flat as possible, parallel with the ground. Depending on how your rig is set up, you may be able to zero the rotations in the details window. Note that manual adjustments may still be needed. If streaming finger data, the fingers will also need to be straightened so that the tops of the fingers point straight up. If you have metacarpal bones in your rig, these should be straightened first. Then, each finger can be zeroed out. We also need to do the same with the thumb bones. For the thigh, the bone should be straight up and down with the knee pointing straight forward. The foot should be flat with the ground and also pointing straight forward. Repeat this process for the other side of the skeleton. The spine, neck, and head bones can be adjusted based on how the character looks after retargeting. Adjustments can also be made to any bone at any time. To save changes made to the animation asset, be sure to select the bone and click Key. This will also key all bones lower in the hierarchy, so to quickly key all changes, go to the highest bone in the hierarchy and key that one. When done, be sure to save the asset. The next step is to create the remap asset. Go back to your character's skeleton in the content browser, right click, go to Xsense, and choose Create Remap Asset in Folder. I'm going to select the content folder again and name it mannequin underscore remap. Then save. In this asset, we need to define which bone of our character's skeleton is to be mapped to each bone in the skeleton streaming from MVN. If your skeleton follows a specific naming convention, you can choose to use one here to automatically populate the remap. The default conventions are Unreal slash Metahuman, Maya, and Xsense. A custom naming convention can also be created. Otherwise, to manually input the remap bones, change the naming convention to Manual, or start making changes to the remap and the convention will switch automatically. These bones only need to be remapped if streaming finger data. The left and right carpus are the hand bones. If your character has metacarpal bones, these also need to be included. 
Next, add the T-Pose asset we created earlier if one was needed. Additionally, if the character is facing towards the positive Y axis and not the positive X axis like the mannequin, then this box needs to be checked. When done, compile and save the asset. We now need to create an animation blueprint. Right-click anywhere in the content browser, go to Animation, and create an animation blueprint. Be sure to select the correct skeleton of your character. I'll name this Mannequin Live Link and open the asset. In the Anim Graph window, drag off the Results pin and add the Live Link Pose node. For Live Link subject name, choose the subject name coming from the MVN live stream. Select the node, and in the Details window under Retarget, be sure to select the remap asset we just created. When done, compile and save this blueprint. Add your character to the scene if not done already. With the character selected, go to the Details window and select the Animation tab. Under Animation, change Animation Mode to use Animation Blueprint and change Anim Class to the Animation Blueprint we created earlier. Now when we hit play, the character will receive live stream data from MBN. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. See you in the next one.